Hi, and welcome to the Adobe Illustrator in Under 10 tutorial series where we discuss techniques in Adobe Illustrator in under 10 minutes. In this particular tutorial, we are going to discuss the width tool. So let's jump right into that. We need to first make a line segment on the board. So we're going to use the pen tool and we're going to click and just make any shape, any line segment. It doesn't have to be anything specific. We just want something long enough so that way we can see what we're doing on the board. And I'm actually going to change to our default colors and make sure that it's a black stroke. And I'm going to hit Shift W on the keyboard to select the width tool. Or if you go down in your toolbar, you'll notice it looks like a bezier handle with a big circle in the middle and there's a shape in between the actual handles and this is supposed to represent what the width tool does essentially what it does is it manipulates stroke weight at a particular point that you select so right now you'll notice once I hover the width tool over the line segment it will tell me and you'll see it in the highlighted area side one side two and total width so it'll give me the side one width side two width and the total width. So side one is to the left, side two is to the right, or from the top or the bottom, depending upon which way the actual line is facing. And then you can push or pull and expand or contract the actual line itself. And I'm going to show you how to do both. And then it will change the total width at the point that you're looking at. So I'm going to click, as you see there's a plus arrow, which means I can click there, and I'm going to pull outward. And notice that the numbers change and get larger the more I pull outward, right? And then I let it go. And then we have our values there. Now, as I go along this, you'll notice these values change and they decrease the further along I go on that line. I can add a point at any point there by double clicking. And sometimes if I double click on the actual point that I've added, I'll get the width point edit tool and not sometimes it always happens but if you double click on the point that you've just added this will come up and this allows you to change the side and so that it's not the exact same width on each side so I can change this to a point one and I can click OK and you'll notice that one of the sides is now a little bit different than the other now I can do the same thing for the other side I just have to double click that point again, bring up the box, and then I can change this. Let's say I want to change it to 0.56. Click OK, and now it's even more extreme. And you could do this for every point that's on the line. And each point that's in between will adjust accordingly unless it already has its own set point. Like these already have their own set points, but I can change these in between. This will fluctuate that line. And you can just push and pull these. Now the benefit of this is that in doing so you can change and give yourself some unique line variations and unique line weights. You can also change and add various stroke profiles to your stroke menu down at the bottom and you can actually save these if you wanted to add it to a profile which would then allow you let me show you real quick I'll select that click the drop down add to profiles I can then change it and name it and then if I did it will show up in my profile list but I'm gonna click cancel because I don't want this in my profile list and I'm just gonna delete this off the board so real quick pen tool click 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 shift W to select our width tool and then we can push or pull if we have a point we can double click bring that point up we can constrain the proportions and we can change take a look at what this is going to be and click OK and now we have a new actual stroke using the width tool okay so it's fairly simple very very powerful learn how to utilize it in your artwork and you'll see it gives you a dramatic drastic difference in the overall look of your line weights okay so I hope this was helpful for you if you have any questions feel free to ask you can find me online www.theonewillfocus.com or on all social media specifically Instagram where the majority of my work is at the one will focus all spelled out T-H-E-O-N-E-W-I-L-L-F-O-C-U-S and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial take care